Good morning. This is JT with Montana Hunting and Fishing. How are you folks doing today? Well, I'm coming to you this morning. Um, a part of Montana Hunting and Fishing, uh, you already seen from the uh, first video. Uh, you know, we want you to send us videos. We want you to send us uh, picture clips of your, your uh, scores this year for sure. Um, we've already had some uh, elk, some deer, um, even a couple of fishing uh, pictures sent to us. We uh, added them to our Facebook page, Montana Hunt and Fishing uh, Facebook page, and gave shout outs to the appropriate people. Um, these people do give us their pictures uh, with permission. All right. And so today, what I wanted to talk about is my personal journey uh fitness all right um this hat uh is a live polar uh pro staff hat okay so you know i i definitely uh rep them a little bit here um but i i mostly push the montana hunting and fishing brand um technically i'm to put a code in so you guys can buy some of their merch but I don't really much do that, uh, yeah. Uh, the things, uh, again, getting back to what I want to talk to you about is is that uh, fitness is a big thing for me. Um, it's a constant battle, not just for me, but for a lot of people. Uh, in order to go hunting and fishing for some of these big game uh, uh, elk and moose and, and deer, you've got to be fit. You cannot just be fat. I'm a little on the hefty side these days. I uh, have been since my surgeries, really. And I'm not very proud of a, you know, of that situation, and I am working on it. Um, I'm going to the gym, pushing those weights and, and, losing, and losing the weight. Um, one of the products that help sustain me in the gym and out in the field is Rice Sups, okay? You can go to their website, ricesups.com. And I am a, an affiliate of theirs as well. But I use their stuff more than I ever rep their stuff. You know, I have their I have their shirts. I have their hoodies. I have their supplements in my, in my cupboard. Uh, protein powders, protein pancakes. I've got their fat burner. I've got their pre-workout, which are tiger blood. Blackout uh, Project Blackout uh, supplements is really uh, something that I appreciate. It, it it really sustains me throughout the workout. Doesn't allow me to have muscle burnout, um, and really helps me with the recovery. Okay, it's a combination pre workout. It's got the Baca and all that in there, so it really works out for me. Uh, it's on the spendy side, so giving you the cold. In the description of this video uh, so that you guys can go to my link tree hit that rise up dot com uh, link and then when you go and order something you put my code in there um, to get yourself a discount there for sure um, so looking looking back on uh, you know the last eight or nine years um, I haven't always been as active as I wanted to be uh, because of surgeries, all right? And in, in, at this point, that's just an excuse, and I'm done with the excuses. I've got kids. I've got a family um, that I want to do so much better for, okay? If I'm fit, then I get to live a long time and in case you haven't noticed you know this gray you know doesn't mean I'm 24 anymore okay it's a hard thing to sit here and look in this camera and tell myself I can do better knowing that I failed in the past that's exactly what that means so I'm holding myself accountable. I want folks to hold me accountable. Um, I'm going to post videos of, uh, you know, weigh-ins and stuff and do as much as I can. 
um, in the gym because I don't want to be the guy on the side of the mountain that just shot an elk and dies of a heart attack just trying to get to it or trying to pack it out, right? Uh, rest assured, if you get to that elk and you uh, manage to pack that elk, you're going to lose a few pounds doing that, uh, for sure. And so, I appreciate you guys for sure. I know this is not the longest video. Um, there's going to be some clips uh, at the end of this video. Again, Montana hunting and fishing. Uh, we appreciate all your support and stay tuned for more content. Uh, stay tuned for this adventure, right? And thanks for coming along. Until next time, have a great rest of your day. All right, folks. So on this trip, we were scouting for speed goats in this area. I come to this area quite a bit. On the left to right, there's open fields. This is all state and BOM land uh, combined. And I've been in this area and have been successful. Um, and what does success mean? Um, you know, some people define success as far as hunting, uh, you know, hunting licenses go as a hard to draw tag. Um, they almost feel like it's guaranteed to give you a trophy, uh, a shot at a trophy antelope, which is not always the case. Um, this area is a high pressured, high hunt, highly hunted area. And so there's ranches surrounding it. And then, so it's a very uh, pressured area for sure. So you gotta get in there and get what you can if they are there, cause they are definitely not always there. Um, you almost have to be strategic with it. And in this instance, I've got the kids with me. So we're all taking this beautiful little hike and looking around. And of course the, the kids are really enjoying asking all the questions about uh, the sagebrush and the different types of uh, flowers and stuff that are out there. It was really a nice day, not too hot, not too cold. Um, Un, un, unbelievably like Montana has been super hot this this summer uh, more so than normal and probably going to be warm this winter too um, nonetheless you should have already gotten your gardens turned in and, and uh, turned over get them ready for uh, winter and you probably should have gotten your wood split or be in the process of getting your wood split just to be prepared because you never know uh, you never know what Mother Nature is going to do. Uh, you can never tell God what he's going to do for sure. And so I'm hoping this area is going to be uh, nice and fruitful, um, especially, uh, you know, have a long walk and uh, help out with my uh, exercise goals, right? Uh, weight loss plans. Just a beautiful day out there looking around. You can see coyotes over there. Uh, you can definitely Come on, slow see that we're enjoying in the scenery for sure. There's Isabel. Got a starting pretty girl on. holding up a flower. And younger. There's Wyatt and Mama back. They're just dragging <laughs> along. And Colton too. You this can't forget him. Gone. He was in the baby carrier. Oh yeah, gotta start them okay. young. This is part of Montana hunting and fishing right here, where we are definitely, uh, you know, where we're definitely starting them out young okay. and getting them to appreciate the the uh, life out here in Montana for sure, so they can teach their children. All right, so we got more segments over here. And it really seems like I'm never going to crest that, that hill there, but we actually did. Um, it was kind of hard to, uh, it's kind of hard to walk and record by myself and answer all the kids' questions and things like that. So we enjoy it as we go. Um, of course, uh, in this clip, you're going to see that we have our Venmo tag, our Cash App tag too. And again, I'm gonna post in the bio or in the description of this video, the Linktree link. 
Um, that'll contain all of the um, social media platforms for Montana Hunting and Fishing, Twitter, uh, YouTube, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Tumblr as well. We just started Tumblr. Um, and then Montana Hunting and Fishing merchandise. Again, this is an official business. Um, so there is merchandise there for sale. But if you guys want to just go ahead and donate, go to my cash app, go to our uh, Venmo and, and donate uh, 50 cents, a dollar, whatever you want. Uh, these are rice supplements I use to uh, uh, help me go through my weight loss journey. These are the clothes I was telling you that they have. And in the bio or in the uh, description, I'm going to definitely put that in my, uh, uh, put that link in that uh, discount code in, in the description of this video. There's my Venmo app. That's my Instagram tag. Uh, 